Thank you for joining us today for this important and, quite frankly, historic announcement for thousands of working families in Missouri, especially in Kansas City, quite frankly, all across our state. I'm pleased to be joined by my point person on jobs and economic policy, David Kerr, the director of the Missouri Department of Economic Development. Uh, thank you, David, for your continued leadership for our great state. It's also a pleasure to welcome Stephen C. Lewis, director of Ford Motor Company's Manufacturing Executive Office. Uh, thank you, Steve, for being here with us today. Also joined by many members of the legislature uh, who provided such significant help to us in a special session to make sure that we were put in a competitive advantage that's going to allow this, uh, th this deal to move forward. Also appreciate uh, the chamber being here, AIM and all the other organizations, Dan, Ray, all the rest of the folks that have been incredibly helpful. Since its founding, Missouri has been a state of builders. From aircraft that soared across the seas to the capsules that took men into space, Missourians have built the technology and machinery that have changed the way the world lives, travels, and communicates. For more than 100 years, automobiles have been one of Missouri's most important products. Missouri's automotive industry starts at big plants like Como that employ thousands of workers. But it stretches all across our state to dozens of suppliers and tens of thousands of workers in every corner of our state. Bottom line, when it comes to automobiles, Missourians build them better than anyone else. The talented men and women of Missouri's automotive industry use their minds, their hands, and their backs to build the vehicles that keep our economy and our communities moving forward. They are some of the sharpest, most productive, most dedicated workers in America. They're also our friends and our neighbors, the folks who sit next to us at church, and the volunteers who coach our kids' little league teams. Automobile manufacturing is a critical part of Missouri's economy, and the men and women who work in that industry are vital members of the communities where they live and work. The last few years have been tough. Beginning in 2007, the national economic crisis hit every state, including Missouri, hard. That downturn also had an impact on the automotive industry. Sales fell. Plants closed. Jobs disappeared. During this time of great change, all the major manufacturers, including Ford, are reassessing their product lines and restructuring their operations. But we all know one thing for certain. Automobiles are going to be built in America. And today, we're here to announce that a new generation of vehicles will be built right here in the state of Missouri. Now, from my first day as governor, I've been committed to rebuilding and revitalizing Missouri's manufacturing industry, beginning with automobiles. Missouri's economic strength depends on a strong manufacturing industry. To keep our economy moving forward, we need to make sure that product is back in GDP, that that P stands for products that we build right here in the Show Me Day State. On my first day in office, I created the Governor's Automotive Jobs Task Force to make recommendations for growing Missouri's automotive industry. And last summer, I called on the General Assembly into special session to pass the Missouri Manufacturing Jobs Act. I want to really thank these folks with me here today and their brothers and sisters in the legislature, some of which aren't even here anymore, that helped us get that done. This act sharpened our economic incentives to attract next generation automobile production to our state. The act provides strategic economic incentives to manufacturers who make major capital investments in new production lines and who put people to work on those lines. These incentives are designed to support major manufacturers like Ford as well as automotive suppliers that employ tens of thousands of Missourians in communities like Columbia, Mexico, Nixa, Joplin, and Dexter. Let me be very clear about one point. Manufacturers aren't eligible for a single dollar of incentives until people are put to work. This is a strategic and sound investment of economic incentives, an investment that will pay off for generations to come. As Ford made decisions about where to locate its next generation production lines, Missouri was in stiff competition with other plants in other states. But our hard work and early efforts paid off. Today, we're here to announce a major investment for the Clay Como assembly plant and its workforce, an investment that will provide good jobs for Missourians for generations to come. And before I turn it over to Mr. Lewis, I just want to say it is wonderful to be here with my many friends in the legislature with these great manufacturers, to be here kind of at this moment uh, you know, in, in American history when the United States you know, automotive industry is turning the corner. You know, we've, we've had bad news out of this sector for a lot of years. We've seen jobs shipped overseas, we've seen production dropped, and here we are in the heartland 
um, working together to make sure that manufacturing of vehicles is a significant, real, and important part of the future of this country and the economy of the state. With that, I'd like to welcome Steve Lewis, the Director for Strategic, Strategic Planning for Ford Motor Company, to make a few comments. Then I'll make a, a, just a very short comment. We're going to sign this memorandum, and then we'll be glad to take your questions. Steve Lewis. Thank you, Governor Nixon, and thank you, thank everyone for being here today. Let me just lower this a little bit. How about that? The governor uh, visited uh, Ford Motor Company about a year ago in Dearborn, and he had the opportunity to meet with our CEO, Alan Mulally. <clears throat> During those discussions, they focused on manufacturing specifically in the United States, uh, new technology, and the outlook of the Kansas City assembly plant. There was also considerable time spent on the role of public and private partnerships supporting competitive manufacturing environments. A lot has happened in the past 12 months and the governor has worked hand in hand with the Missouri legislature during the 2010 regular session as well as the special session to promote job retention for the automotive manufacturing in the state of Missouri. Ford was encouraged by the strong partnership we have here in Missouri today, and we've signed an incentive agreement made possible by the passage of the Missouri Manufacturing Jobs Act. Today, Ford is committed to build a new vehicle in our Kansas City assembly plant. After the current model, Ford Escape Production moves to the company Louisville assembly plant and the retooling of the Kansas City assembly plant is complete. Ford will invest $400 million in the Kansas City facility to upgrade the plant and to accommodate production of a new vehicle while retaining current full-time employment of 3,750 people. The investment and the promise of a new vehicle to be built in Kansas City reinforces Ford's commitment to U.S. manufacturing and American jobs. Investment in our plants, products, and people is critical to Ford's ability to compete with the best in the business. Ford is committed to doing everything it will take to work with its partners, including our United Auto Workers, to remain competitive. The state of Missouri approved tax incentives played a very important role in Ford's decision and the company's commitment to invest to this level of investment and job retention. On behalf of Ford Motor Company, I would like to thank Governor Nixon and the Missouri legislature for all their hard work to make this day possible. We are grateful for the support generated by the members of our local Ford, of the local Ford 2020 Task Force and all the individuals and organizations that, in, that supported this incentive legislation. I also want to thank our plant management and our UAW partners for all they do to make Kansas City Assembly a world-class operation that continues to produce high-quality vehicles that are valued by our customers every day, and I'm excited for them to be a part of this in this important announcement. Today is a great day for our Kansas City assembly plant. And we're excited to make this investment here today. And thank you. On behalf of the state, Director Kerr will sign, along with Mr. Lewis, the memorandums, and I will attest to those. David, if you would, you know how to close the deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> American auto industry. The rebound starts right here in the state. 